Hi, second grade. It's Bridget Donovan, your catechist. Today, I will be going over the chapter three text with you guys. Chapter three is title today is We Celebrate God's Love. So let's go to our first truth of the day, and it is we believe that we belong to the Catholic Church. We belong to the Catholic community that is called the Catholic Church. We are Catholics. We become members of the church when we are baptized. We are led and guided by the Pope and bishops. Some of the things that Catholics throughout the world share and celebrate are the belief that Jesus is the Son of God, the belief that Jesus suffered, died, and rose again to save us, God's life and love, a call to help and serve others as Jesus did. We worship and work together in communities called parishes. Our, parishes, commu our parish communities are led and guided by priests. They work with men and women of the parish. The whole parish serves the needs of others, especially the poor, sick, and lonely. So let's have a quick discussion with a parent or guardian and let's complete the sentence by writing the name of your parish. So you can ask um, who, um, adult, an adult and ask, which, which parish do I belong to? And then you can fill it in in your book. One. Our second truth of the day is Catholics celebrate God's love by praying and worshiping. Jesus and his disciples often shared and celebrated their faith in God. Faith is a gift from God. It helps us to trust God and to believe all that he tells us. Catholics, too, gather to celebrate their faith in God and his love. We worship God. This means we give him thanks and praise. When we gather to worship, God is with us. We often praise God with words from Scripture. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all you lands, from Psalm 100, verse 1. We gather as a parish community each week at Mass. We celebrate all that Jesus has done for us throughout, through his life, his death, and his resurrection. We celebrate that Jesus is with us always. We praise God the Father through his Son, Jesus Christ together with the Holy Spirit. God gives us the strength to go out and share his great love. Now let's take another break and let's color this word we use in worship. Alleluia. So get out some co coloring utensils. It can be crayons, markers, color pencils, and just color this word in. Welcome back. We are now on to our third truth. Our church celebrates with seven special signs called sacraments. The church celebrates with signs, but the signs the church uses are different from ordinary signs. The special signs the church celebrates are the seven sacraments. A sacrament is a special sign given to us by Jesus. God makes us holy through the sacraments. Jesus gave us these sacraments so that we can share in God's own life. We gather as a church community to celebrate these sacraments. We become stronger in faith. We grow as followers of Jesus. We are on, now on to our fourth truth. Through God's gift of faith, we, cel we believe Jesus is with us. Every time we celebrate the sacraments, Jesus is with us through the power of the Holy Spirit. The sacraments help us to live as friends of Jesus. Now, here are the seven sacraments. Let's read along. Baptism. We become children of God and members of the church. We receive the Holy Spirit for the first time. Confirmation. This sacrament seal, seals us with the gift of the Holy Spirit and strengthens us. Confirmation makes us stronger followers of Jesus. Eucharist. 
This is the sacrament of the body and blood of Christ. We receive Jesus himself in Holy Communion. Penance and Reconciliation In this sacrament, God forgives our sins. We tell our sins to the priest. We are given God's forgiveness and peace. Anointing of the Sick This is the sacrament for those who are sick or are in danger of death. The priest prays that they may be healed in body, mind, and spirit. Matrimony In this sacrament, a man and a woman become husband and wife. They promise to love and be faithful to each other always. Holy Orders In this sacrament, a man becomes a deacon, a priest, or a bishop. He then serves the church by leading and guiding God's people. Now we have another question, and it is, which of the seven sacraments are you looking forward to celebrating this year? Now let's take a break and discuss this with a parent or guardian. Two. Welcome back. I hope you had a good discussion with one of your guardians. Now let's look to the right and look at these key words. These are very important, so I suggest that you go over them because we will be using them in the next coming weeks. Now let's flip the page and go to our homework for this week. On page 43, we are going to use the code to find the keywords. Tell what each word means. So, we have these numbers, and under here we're going to have a phrase. Go to the numbers, use the numbers, and fi figure out which letter goes with which letter. So, four, we're going to go one, two, three, four. It's F, so then you're going to put F in the blank. You're going to do the same thing with one, go find one, go find six. In this line, too, you're going to find 11. It's P, and it's going to spell out a phrase. The phrase is probably very important. You're then going to come down here, and you're going to complete your membership card. So you're going to write your name, belongs to the Catholic Church. Your, your name, again, is a member of, then you're going to put the name of your parish. So be, if you're a member of the Cathedral of St. Andrew, you're going to put Cathedral of St. Andrew. You're going to, yeah. Then, on page 45, you're also, is your other part of homework. It's gonna, you're going to have to solve the riddle, okay? So, you're going to look back at your sacraments that we just went over, and you're going to answer this question. I am, a sac I am a sacrament that is celebrated by a man and a woman. I make them husband and wife. What sacrament am I? So, you're going to answer that question. If you feel that you have to, you can go look back, look back at two pages ago when we discussed the sacraments. Then... You're now going to write your own riddle about one of the sacraments. Ask a friend to guess it. So, you know, you can go look back at that um, sacraments page and you can make up your own riddle. And then you can put it right here, the answer. And that now you're going to, re at reality check, you're going to ask, it can be any of your family, family members, it can be your mom, your dad, a sibling, your aunt, uncle, whoever, and you're going to ask them, which sacraments have your family members celebrated? And then you can check them off. And then take home. Finish the sentence using words from the box. My favorite way to worship God is to blank. You're going to use pray, sing, go to mass, or act like Jesus. Ask your family members to share their favorite ways to worship God too. Okay. So now, once you completed your homework... Have a parent take a picture of your work, attach picture to an email sent to, and send it to re at cathedralofstandrew.org. In the subject line, write your child's name and grade level. And this is an example. Okay, I hope this was clear. And don't forget to complete your homework and the assignments. And can't wait to see you back next week. Bye!